Uh, so in this video we do more work on the driver's side engine bay. Um, I temporarily got the welder fixed but it gave up on me again. I haven't had a look to see what's wrong with it. Um, I've, I just need to tidy up in here first. Um, so making progress I had to do quite a lot on the wheel arch which I wasn't actually expecting to do. But I guess we're getting used to me not expecting to have to do stuff and then it's there. Um, but So quite a lot on the wheel arch. Um, some of the fitch on the driver's side near the driver as opposed to near the front of the car. Um, uh, so we're making progress but we'll need at least one more episode to finish off the engine bay from the driver's point of view. A lot of that being on the front wing um, and where the wing connects to the engine bay but um, I'll count it as part of the engine bay I think. Um, so we're making progress and now I'm going to have to pause whilst I try to work out what to do with my welder. At least pause on the welding, which isn't a bad thing because I get so sick of it. Um, maybe, maybe I'll take off the rear suspension or something. Okay, so a new arm thing was going to cost me 130 quid to get one specifically from this machine. That one over there, which doesn't fit or doesn't work with it, it did fit, but it just electricity isn't working for some reason. That was 20 quid. This one, 130. Well, I'm not spending 130. Um, if I'm going to do that, I might as well put in another 100 so quid and get a new one. So, um, I've managed to get it together as best possible. So, I think what we'll find is that this comes loose very quickly um, again because it's held in you know it's got a brass block in there and then it's held in with a little um, a locking screw or a locking nut locking screw I guess and that locking screw I can't move it's just um, the head on it is completely gone it takes an allen key of some size and I can't get an allen key that fits it the small one just slips and uh, nothing bigger goes in so <laughs> And I suppose I could do something about trying to drill it out or something, but I haven't done. So I've just forced the nozzle down as best I can. And we'll work with it like that for a little while and we see how we get on. And hopefully it will be okay for a little while. So we're coming back to um, doing this bit down here today. Oh, where is it? This bit. So I started um, kind of, you know, have I got that in picture? Yeah, there. So I'd started um, just welding a piece over to, to and then cut off around the outside. And so we'll continue with that. Okay, so we've got that bit in place. Still needs a bit of grinding, but that's all right. Means I can move on to the next bit. Um, so I think we'll tackle, um, which one did I do it? We'll tackle this bit here first. And then we'll move on to this bit along here. I've been having a little think about how to do kind of this and this bit. So um, first of all, we've got the inner wheel arch here, which is clearly rusted. So I've got to cut around here and weld in a new piece onto the inner wheel arch. In fact there's a big hole here so along here and up will need fixing. Um, and then this curve here for this bit of the um, engine bay or the fitch I think it's called for this. This is hard because this curve is changing in shape and it's coming up and around so it's going in all kinds of directions. So, um, what I did on the other side is I did here, I didn't have to go as far over, but here I just did a flat piece like that, which worked quite well. I was thinking oh, I'm just going to do a flat piece down and then a piece across, so I'd lose the curve, but I'd get the strength. Um, but what I might do is I might do replace this piece 
with a piece that goes down like that and then worry about how to try to somehow get that curve in for this bit because that would be flat yeah I might I might actually try to do that I might try to do a piece for here um, and then a piece for over here um, oh yeah Hmm. This is tough, I don't know what I'm going to do. I thought I'd worked it out and I was going to say, and now I'm changing my mind. Okay, so I've started by making a piece with a flange. I then need to put it at an angle to get it to line up all around. Like that. So I'm going to trim it off now along here. I'll mark that out, trim it off. Then I'll try to get this curve here a bit sharper. Um, for along here. Okay, so we've trimmed it off and we've curved it. We've now got too much curve in there. Um, that's okay. So what we're going to do is this is in about the right place. But down here, clearly it goes down further. So we going to do the distance down to the bottom here, it's um, 14 centimetres, so if I measure 14 centimetres on here, it's there. Okay, so that's 14, let's just check here, the measurement is about I'd say eight. So So something like that. So I'm gonna do a cut along here and straighten this bit out and then see how it fits in there. Okay, so you can see what I've done here in terms of that cut. So if I can put a piece in here now, then you know that should be okay. And then I need a bit on here to cover this bit. But it's pulling away here. So before I do that, I need to, I think I'm going to do a little cut in here, which I can weld up and then I can fold this out of the way, all the way over and um, try to get it so that it's holding its shape a bit better and then we should be able to look to put it in okay we can see we've got a better fit here now but right here we've got it's that much off um, the original so i think what i'll do is i'll do a cut along here that should allow me to push this down and get it flat I think um, and want and then we'll weld that back in and then we should be able to um, fit the last piece so I've done that little cut down there that's allowed me to push this in and I got this nice and flat um, six out a bit here that's okay because I'm not gonna I'm gonna cut it off somewhere around here so that will come down together so next thing to do is to build, put a triangle, triangular piece in here. Uh, but I'm going to go have some lunch first. Okay, we've got the piece in here now, so that looks okay along here. It's come up a bit here, so I've shrunk it a bit. But um, so I might, I think I'll give this a little bit of a whack and see if I can get that back down. But I'm also, I'm not going to cut it along there. I'm going to cut it up here more. So we'll be dealing with it from there at some point. So I think the next bit is to try to do a piece for here. Okay, we've got this bit on now, down here. So, oh. so we've got this bit on here now. It's all pulled away a bit again from the back, but that should be okay. Now here, this is indented in a curve, so I'm gonna cut it sort of along there 
and I'm going to cut straight lines and that should I think get me around I should get me around this um, indented bit um, this is as you can see I mean it, it pushes in so I think we're going to live with it like that um, what because it pulls away so much I want to trim it down a bit so where to trim it to well the thing is this is rusty all the way to here so maybe I shouldn't maybe I need to get that fit in better um, I don't know Um, but I think we're going to trim out that bit first. We'll have a little think, bit more of a think about it, and then we're going to start cutting out some of this metal so that we can get at the um, inner wheel arch. Um, preparing to do the inner sill, the inner wheel arch here. So I was going to do. I mean, I don't really care if it's rounded around here. So I'm going to do a piece that comes along on this, it comes up around here, all the way up. And across um, now, so, so it joins onto this bit but this here is really rotten and there's a hole underneath it so I've been told that these aren't needed they were just there originally for alignment but they're actually um, not needed any longer so I don't know if that's true or not but um, I've got to get this one out anyway because I've got rust holes above it so what I'm going to do is take this out, fix um, above this the hole that's on the flat bit, and then I'll do a big piece to cover that area. So here we are under the wheel arch. I ended up just cutting them out um, rather than anything else. And clearly I've got a bit more here that needs trimming off and a bit here that needs trimming off and I mean this is fairly I mean I don't know how firm it really is but I'm gonna have to come down here I think and along down here and along okay so if I can do a piece that does that um, that would be good Holding it up here. It's, I mean, really, I should get in under there as well, to be honest. Um, but there we are. Okay. So if we can do that, and then if we do the same here, just just get a bit around the curve, I think. Um, something like that. So we'll start on this side and see how we get on. There's one of them in. We'll keep the other for tomorrow now. It's... Well, I'm just filthy. So. It is really, really difficult and to weld lying on your back with sparks falling down on you. Very unpleasant. So, with that in mind, um, I, there might be some pinholes in there, but it's going to have to do. I will plaster it with um, oh, um, fiberglass body, body filler. Um, before I do any painting or anything over it to seal off any cracks or any pinholes and things like that. Um, other than that, that's what it's going to stay as. Now, I didn't paint the underside of it, so I need to get some paint on there. But I have room to do that still, so I will do. And I'll do that now before I move on. And so the next bit is to do um, the, the top bit of the... Um, in a wheel arch that goes up just here. Okay, so this is made to go in here as the um, inner sill. So we're going to um, weld it in place, and then we'll cut it to get a better, better connection there. Um, that should be okay. I've already painted it on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Right, so I'll, I've got that 
wheel arch bit now welded in, which I'll show you in a sec. And I've just clamped this on, which um, you can see I need to just, it's a bit high here. Um, but what I'm actually doing is I'm pulled it further this way to get this to line up, which means I'm going to be slightly too big here for when that inner piece comes in. So I'm going to trim this off just a little bit here for that. And then that means I've got a gap over on this side. It won't be at the bottom here, but it will be here. I'll have a gap just here. And I'll fill that in later when um, I worry about um, this bit along here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just trim off um, a tiny bit along here. Sort of sort of there, I think. Okay, and that should then look okay. So what's the piece underneath look like? Well, there it is, so that's um should be alright. So we're going to put some primer on here, some primer on the underside of here. We're going to trim this off along where I said, and we're going to have to um, put in drill some holes for spot welds along here. And then we'll start trimming it in. We're about to stop, and the reason being. Welder's completely gone. I don't know. I haven't looked to see what it is yet, but uh, it's clearly not creating a circuit anymore. So um, I might have a look at it uh, later today. I'll clear up first. Get my car's back in. Um, but we'll stop where we are for now. So this is the point we're stopping at. Um, I was just trying to weld that into place and it gave up on me, the welder gave up on me. So um, I need to get this raised up a bit, but you know, it shouldn't be too bad to get something reasonable. Get this in and then fit it along here and then we'll have to trim off the top of it more closely. But that should be okay. Um, I had wanted to this weekend get this done and get this done, but clearly not going to. So I think we're 10 weeks in and um, I think I'm working on stuff that I was hoping to have done after seven weeks. So I think I'm three behind schedule, which I guess how much I was away and stuff. Maybe I'm four behind schedule. Maybe we're 11 weeks into the year. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I think we'll have a look at the welder, see if I can fix it again, keep it going. If not, I'll have to order a new one and think of something else to do whilst I'm waiting for that to arrive.